it's just not giving what it says that it's supposed to give. She knows who she is, period. I already told y'all, it gives me rich auntie vibes. If you spray this on yourself and walk into the room, it's just like, whoa. Hello and welcome to today's video. Finally, my perfume collection. I have been wanting to film this for a hot minute now, but I wanted to wait to do it now because a lot of these perfumes you can find like at Sephora and stuff. And right now they're having their holiday sale. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to finally sit down and get this video out for you guys. Um, that way you guys can at least get a little discount on some of these because y'all know perfumes are expensive i have quite a few sitting right here and i separated them by my favorites some that i like and that i dip into every once in a while and then some that i'm like eh, i don't really love them but i'm going to share them with you anyway just in case you want to know like the fragrances i don't really gravitate towards the most so let's go ahead and get into it let me first start off with the least expensive ones that i have here so i bought these in a set at zara and this one is Lightly Bloom, and the pink one is Nude Bouquet. Now, these ones right here, they do sell them individually. They sell them together, but honestly, if you can get your hands on them, these, I would highly recommend them because of the price point and the scent. It is so long-lasting. Now, I wouldn't say that these are fall scents at all, unless you don't mind wearing, like, florals in the fall time, but these are more florally which i never typically go for i usually am a musk type of girl but when i smelled these in store i was like whoa i need to have these in my collection i don't know what it is about these that kind of give me this is gonna sound a little bit weird but they give me grandma vibes in the best <laughs> way possible and when you smell them i think you'll understand what i'm saying but it just reminds me of somebody in my life that i know and that i just want to like hug tightly they also smell very luxurious floral powdery light nothing like anything that i have in my collection whatsoever though i will say this one here which is lightly bloom kind of reminds me a little tiny bit of my giorgio armani aqua de yeah, we're not even going to pronounce most of these names. But this one right here, it's kind of, si well, packaging is kind of similar, but the scent is a little similar as well. They're both like powdery, very light, fresh scents. This one is a little more floral than the Giorgio Armani, but the notes I feel like could be similar. Now, don't quote me on that. I haven't looked up the notes on any of these, but something about it. It just smells very lightweight and fresh and Speaking of the Giorgio Armani one, you can see this one is definitely one of my favorites. I'm already kind of running low on this one. And this, when I bought, I think a lot of these are first time tries for me. So I've gotten a lot of these in the smaller version to give them a shot first. But I can tell I'm going to need to get myself a new one for the sale. With the Zara ones, I would say you only need a few sprays and it's going to last you all day long i'll continue on with more of the fresh scents the next one that i have right here is like i have an emotional attachment to this fragrance right here it just smells so pretty so uh chic very feminine and flirty i think i've said this before about this fragrance right here it just reminds me of just how beautiful femininity is it sounds so like ooh, so intense like oh my gosh but it reminds me of like girl next door it's a fresh floral it has bergamot citrus juicy pear and pink peppercorn the middle notes are rose and jasmine and the bottom notes are white musk vanilla patchouli and cedar wood all of the scents that i would love and the fact that it has that juicy pear and citrusy mixed with the vanilla and like the patchouli is just like you can just smell all those different scents and i feel like everything that i just mentioned are all scents that i like minus like the rose jasmine but those don't appear as much i would say so this one is just 
an everyday scent and something that you can even wear for special occasions, wedding, baby shower, that type of energy. This is just very timeless. For summer scents, I have two right here that I always go to. So the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, I believe is what it's called. I don't have the name on here, but I haven't gone through this. I've had this little travel size for so long. I got the travel size for when I go on vacation and things like that. And I haven't needed to repurchase it because honestly, I don't go through my perfumes that quick. So I've had this one for a hot minute and I'm planning on purchasing the smaller version of the not travel sizes. It's a go-to. It's a go-to that I think everybody should have in their summer collection or in their collection in general. It just smells like a tropical vacation. And every time I smell this, it reminds me of all the summer trips that I've gone on because I always take this with me. It's just everything. Another one that's very similar to that that I just bought not too long ago that was also a go-to for me when I went on vacation is the Replica Beach Walk. This one is very similar to the Tom Ford. I'm trying to smell the differences. I would say that the, the Tom Ford is a little sweeter and this one's a little bit more fresh and citrusy, but the notes seem to be kind of similar. So I have this one in the rollerball again for travel, but very uh, also powdery and light, not too overpowering. The rest of these I think are all more so the muskier scents. My favorite as of right now, my favorite fall scent. And this is the Replica by The Fireplace. I just talked about this one in my Sephora sale recommendations video. And this just smells like the coziest day ever. Like you're literally sitting in a cabin. I said this in that video, but you're sitting in a cabin with family, friends, having fun, playing games. The fire is going, you know, people are roasting marshmallows. Just like literally the perfect scent for fall and winter. Not even kidding. I actually want to spray myself with some of this right now. And I would say three sprays and you're... <laughs> I think I, some of it got in my mouth. When I wear this, I get so many compliments and I know I'm gonna have it on repeat for the entire fall and winter season. They also have a few other ones that I wanna pick up. This one I, that I have, I think is like the cute little one ounce one. And then the regular size is like this one. And I have the Seven Virtues Santal Vanille. Everybody talks about the vanilla one in Seven Virtues and no one talks about the Santel Vanille. I have not smelled, well I did kind of smell the vanilla one in store, but out of the two, I liked the Santel Vanille a little bit more because it, to me it has a little bit more of a muskier masculine scent and I tend to like those scents a little bit more. And so I would say that this one, let me, oh it says here the notes right oh no it doesn't hold on warm and spicy which i have to agree with and the key notes in this are myrrh m y r r h vanilla and sandalwood so very simple straight to the point you can smell the vanilla you can smell the sandalwood and it is more of a spicier scent hands down and i love it maybe i'll dip into the vanilla one and see what it's all about since everybody talks about it but i personally like this one a little bit more and a little bit goes a long way i just realized i have a few more that are kind of similar to the lancome one they're a little bit more romantic and feminine so i'm gonna touch on those after i finish with the musky ones i just realized right now um but from there let's do the kaoli elixir too this one is i already told y'all gives me rich auntie vibes it just smells like you have your entire life together it yeah 
and it's it's also light you can see a pattern here i like very light and powdery musky scents and this is another one of those right there let me give you the notes for this one so the fragrance family for this one is floral the scent type is warm floral and the key notes are rose jasmine and patchouli this one i actually sprayed it on my wrists and on my like arms right here one day and then i went to go do my mom's makeup and she was like, what are you wearing? Because obviously I'm going like this and I'm all up in her face. And she was like, what are you wearing? Like it smells very like fresh and not overwhelming. And I was like, oh, it's this new perfume that I'm trying out. This one, I'm just going to mention it because I just, it's part of my collection, but they don't sell it anymore. And I'm so sad because this one was my favorite and I go to it all the time. Not only that, but she killed it with the packaging. This is the KKW Body the OG first one and I just this I like even just having on display in my office but this scent right here is another good everyday scent I don't even know if they'll have the notes on this one anymore because of the fact that they don't sell it so it's a floral woody musk and this one has top notes of peach pink pepper green mandarin and bergamot the middle notes are jasmine Lang Lang and Turkish Rose. Base notes are sandalwood, musk, uh, and amber. But this one's a good everyday, um, I would say a body spray because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this one does not last all day long. When I first got it, I was like, ooh, this lasts all day, you know, but after wearing it a few times, I'm noticing that it doesn't last all day. If you spray it on your clothes, I think it will but if you just spraying it on your body i just find that for me it just the scent goes away pretty quick so this one is one that you're gonna have to like spray in the morning and then touch up again in the evening um if you do want to wear the scent all day long which is kind of nice sometimes because at night you could switch up your scent but i would say this falls in line with more of a body spray type of thing i randomly went to the nordstrom perfume section one day and i was just looking around and smelling and trying to see what i can find and i went to the all saints section and i was like hmm, i've never tried any perfumes from all saints and so i just kind of started smelling them and i randomly picked up metal wave and no one that i've seen talks about the all saints perfumes much not sure why but um i really first off i like the packaging of this it's very um modern and with the vibes of right now crisp and fresh juniper berry with dry woody papyrus wood magnolia with a twinge of sweetness is what it says so it's basically berry magnolia with a base of papyrus wood another one that a little bit goes a long way you can see i have barely even made a dent in this because i can do one or two sprays and it'll last me all day long this is a scent that smells also different than anything else that i have although it falls in line with the muskier scents you can see that the the notes on this one are different like berry i don't really have much of that mixed with uh wood and with this one i would say that it's a genderless slash unisex scent anybody can wear this this one here i don't know what it is about this specific one that i'm about to mention first off i don't know why i haven't gotten um a regular size in this one i'm gonna add it to my car because i really like it and i haven't grabbed it as of lately as a matter of fact i'm gonna mix it with the one that i have right now because and this one is the chloe i think that's how you say it properly chloe or the chloe or the clo however we want to say it but i think chloe is the right way to say it um no maid y'all spare me okay but anyway so this is the this is in the floral family it's a warm floral it has oak moss freesia this is the thing about perfumes like i'm not about to take the time to look up how to pronounce all this stuff okay but i'm trying so it's basically um what it says it's a free spirited it's for the essence of a free spirited and confident woman it's intense like if you spray this on yourself and walk into the room it's just like whoa it smells different it makes you want to get to know 
whoever it is that's wearing it i don't even know if that makes sense but it just smells so powerful confident like you just know who you are and you embrace who you are that's literally what i get all from this tiny <laughs> from, from this tiny little bottle and this one you can spray i want to say like three times two to three times and it's gonna do the trick but this is definitely like she knows who she is period love everything about this and it doesn't smell like anything that i have either it's funny because i have quite a few perfumes but i feel like most of these smell very different from one another and i'm just like how is it that i like all these different scents they're kind of similar in some ways but some of these are just like way different than anything else so uh the last three that i have as far as like the ones that i love and the ones that i feel like are a little bit more uh, feminine and flirty are these three here so i would also put these under the category of like a date night or a girl's night out and the j'adore from dior and i have the one fluid ounce in this one so it's this cute chubby beautiful genie like bottle and this one i also have a little bit of an emotional attachment to this one reminds me of my mom because she has always had this in her perfume collection it's one of her go-to's i gifted her uh one of these for i think like a christmas or a mother's day or a birthday something like that but i have this one mainly because it reminds me of her and whenever i spray it i like literally i'm like i smell like my mom but it's just it is it's a really pretty scent as well let me read you the notes it's a perfume that's irresistibly seductive the fluty floral notes of Lang Lang Essence combined with the warmth of rose and jasmine for a feminine and mysterious fragrance. Feminine and mysterious is the perfect way to describe this. And then um, the YSL, I forget the name of this one, Libre. I've had this specific bottle now for I want to say like two years. It was gifted to me um yeah like about two years ago and i have barely made a dent in this one but it's also a really good one to have and i think that everybody needs not not everybody if you like the scent um that should have this in their collection it has notes of lavender orange blossom vanilla extract and it's a bold floral feminine fragrance for those who live by their own rules it has lavender essence from france and darling notes of vanilla for a unique scent so um this one also gives me a little bit more of like a luxurious feel and perfect for like i said a date night or a girl's night giorgio armani c another staple that i think that everybody should have in their collection yeah this one's good and i'm already halfway through it so this one is rose woody vanilla it has a sweet take on floral fragrance and it's it has luminous notes of black rant nectar and mandarin orange blossom for a warm uh irresistible smell and i would say i would say as well didn't realize this had that hint of orange but i would say it definitely does i wouldn't put these in the same category um they smell very different all right let's get into the ones that i'm like medium about <laughs> and i'm like okay i like these they're cute and sometimes i will reach for them so we'll start with the replica or the Mason Margiela uh, Springtime in a Park. So I bought this one this past spring and I was actually really loving it dur during the springtime. I was noticing that it wasn't lasting as long as I thought. I would say... Yeah, I would say that this is more of a body spray type of thing too. You have to constantly reapply it. But the smell of this one is so nice it's very fresh and it literally smells like a fresh bouquet of flowers you can spray i mean it's expensive so you probably don't want to do this but if you want to spray like one time in each room when guests come over it just literally smells like you have fresh flowers in your house and it smells like springtime and right now that i sprayed this it just reminded me of some of the days that i had during the springtime where i was spring cleaning in here or when i would go out and about and run errands or get me my little uh soon to be summer starbucks drinks just like it, it gives me nice springtime memories and then um i have the way perfumes in this category too i have north bondi bondi and dean street and these two i would say i like the north bondi bondi <laughs> one a little bit more as you can see this one i would say smells exactly like their uh, shampoos and conditioners so if you like that scent and you're like i want to smell like fresh laundry or like i just washed my hair just got out of the shower 
this is the one and the reason i have this one in the middle category where i'm like i like it it's cute is because i don't really reach for this one as much for the mood that i'm usually in i do like that fresh out of the shower smell but i will really only wear this on the days where I don't know like i'm not really gonna go out but i want to smell fresh or if i'm gonna be home like doing laundry and chilling and cozying up and i i want to smell something on myself that isn't too woody too overpowering something soft and fresh this right here is my go-to i mean i will sometimes wear this out too but um it's just not well i guess it kind of is one that i i go to kind of often because it's halfway through but um I don't know how to describe it it's just one that's cute to apply like on those lighter days where you don't want to dedicate yourself to like a full-on like different type of scent just a very freeing relaxing breath of fresh air and then another one that's kind of like that um is this wood sage and sea salt cologne so again a genderless slash unisex scent it's from Jo malone again at first this one was one that i thought lasted a while but it's more of something that you have to apply constantly to keep the smell of something that you would put on after the shower when you're about to just be very chill letting loose and just trying to like relax and breathe and if you're just gonna be at home too but you want to smell good this is another good one to spray for that and then i have the alien perfume i have it in the travel version because i haven't really had the desire yet to splurge on the bigger version and i don't think that i will just because of the fact that i've had this for so long and i haven't even gone through it so that kind of says a lot um but the smell of this one is a little different not in a bad way just not in a way that i'm like ooh, i want to grab it it smells good it smells different it smells very overpower not overpowering it smells very powerful but um what is it about this it's like a very mysterious scent and i can't pinpoint why i don't gravitate towards it as much as my other ones but i also wouldn't say that i don't like this one at all it's a pretty scent but it's just a rare occasion where i'm like oh i want to wear this one right here so it's just a nice to have i would say um just in case you're ever just like oh i want to try something a little different today and then i also have the um alien goddess and this one has incredible reviews on the sephora website it almost has five stars when i got this one i really loved the smell of it because i would say my room's about to smell crazy i would say this is yeah i would maybe even stick this one into a favorite i just haven't had it long enough to really find the right occasion to wear it for to reach for it as much because right now i'm really stuck to the um by the fireplace ones and more of those musky ones but i think once i kind of not get over those but i'm like off of cloud nine <laughs> from the scent of those i think i'll dip into this one a little bit more and for this one it falls in the warm floral category it's bergamot jasmine and vanilla so I think this one is, if I'm not mistaken, similar in notes to the Kaoli one. So I don't know why I have it. I think it's just the fact that it's it's newer. I keep spraying it by the time I figure it out. I'm going to go through the entire bottle. But um, it's, a, it's a pretty scent. I would move this one to the Loves because I know it's one that I'm going to get to eventually. I just haven't as of yet. The room smells insane, but I'm going to do my last few ones. And these four are the ones that I'm like... I honestly can do without them to be completely honest some of you guys might be like what with some of these but they're just not for me so um the first one is it might not be that surprising this is newer well not like that but it's newer that's why so some of you guys might not have even seen this one yet is what I mean um so this one is the way Rue Saint Honore. it's just not giving it's kind of giving like not a perfume yeah no it's just not it's not really doing it for me so it's supposed to be a fresh floral i'm not getting fresh floral from this whatsoever and it's even supposed to be musk like gardenia violet 
it's just not giving what it says that it's supposed to give to be honest and i don't even know what type of occasion i would grab that for either so that the other way ones are nice but that one it's like eh, i can get rid of that um and then the dolce and gabbana light blue this one i bought this a few years back i want to say and i used it for a while you can see it's it's like right here but i haven't gotten it out of my collection in a hot minute i went through this probably within the first like few months that i had this and then i just never touched it again and now that i smell it i'm like yeah this is not really something that i would wear and i it's just like and eh. it could potentially be cute for every day this one was one too that didn't really last me all day i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't reach for this and i wouldn't really repurchase this as of uh right now all right these two these two might surprise some of you because i've seen these i feel like everywhere and everybody talks about them and i'm just like let me try them for myself see if i like them see what the hype is about and they just don't give it to me so um i'll talk about those right now but you know how i was saying like the uh, zara ones kind of give me like grandma but like in a good way and they just make me want to like put more and more and like hug myself <laughs> it's so strange but these right here give me grandma in the not best way. Um, I don't even know if that's a thing because when you think of grandma, you think of like warm, cozy, want to hug her and kiss her and like, but these give me like grandma that's doing a lot. First one is the Twilly Hermes. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just can't do it. I don't know why and I've tried it i'll put it on and then i'm like i don't love it and then i'll give it a few weeks and i'll put it on again see if i like it and i just cannot stick to it it's just too much for me and obviously not every fragrance is for everybody but i want to love it so bad because so many people talk about it and it does smell like it it could you know be more of a luxurious scent and it just doesn't do it for me and at first i was like maybe it's just me like obviously perfumes don't go with everybody and your specific scent is different than the next person's but even when i spray this like just spraying it out or i spray in the cap to smell it the scent alone it sucks but i tried and i'm glad i did get the tiny one because if i would have gotten the bigger one and not liked it then i would have regretted it maybe one day i'll like it but for right now it's just not one that i reach for and it's literally all the way in the back of my collection and then this other one is one that everybody's like this is a go-to and it's like so good and it's the chanel coco mademoiselle for me i don't want to smell like this it's more mature i guess you can say but i'm not quite there yet and i probably won't get there for like a hot minute because it's like an acquired smell and something that i just on myself i smell it and i'm just like Ugh, i want to take my clothes off and wash it and like re-shower because it just doesn't do it for me i don't know and i'm sorry if you love those but don't hate me it's just for me they i can't stick to them i just can't so those are all of my perfumes my entire perfume collection as of right now i have a few more on the way that i just bought for the sephora sale so i'll show you guys those probably on my instagram story or if i do like an updated perfume favorites video but i'll link everything down below in order of how i mentioned it i'll put like my favorites the middle ones and then the ones i'm like not sure about just in case you want to still try them um but thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking around i know it was a long video i hope that you enjoyed seeing all the different perfumes and all the different ways that i smell throughout the year i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video